this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we will explain how to set the install locations for your Native Instruments products in Native Access. It can be useful to define a download and content location on a secondary hard drive in order to save disk space on your system drive. Please note that you can only define different locations for future installations. If you want to change the install locations for an already installed product, please refer to the corresponding article linked in the description of this video. If this is the first time you want to install a Native Instruments product, you will first have to install Native Access. You can find a link to Native Access also in the description of this video. First, start Native Access. If you're a Mac user, you can find it in your Applications folder. If you're on Windows, you can start it from Program Files, Native Instruments. If Native Access asks you to log in, please use your NI account's email address and password. Click the User icon and select Preferences in the drop-down menu. The Preferences window now shows the default file locations for your NI downloads, applications and content. If you are on Windows, it also shows the file locations for your 32 and 64-bit VST files, since Windows allows you to define custom locations for your VST plugins. Under Download Location, you can set a custom path for your installation files. Set this path to a hard drive with enough free space. Keep in mind the installation process itself may require up to three times the space of the product you want to install. To do this, click Browse next to Download Location and navigate to a dedicated folder on your hard drive. In our example, we browse to an external hard drive and select the folder NI Downloads that we have created beforehand. Once you have selected your folder, confirm your choice. Under Application Location, you can change the install location for your NI applications. We highly recommend to keep the default installation path, which on a Mac is Macintosh HD, Applications, Native Instruments, and on Windows, C, Program Files, Native Instruments. Click Browse next to Content Location to set a custom installation path for your NI content. This includes the libraries for Contact, Reactor, Machina, Battery, and Guitar Rig. Make sure you choose a hard drive with enough free space, since these libraries require a large amount of disk space. For this reason, you may consider installing them on a secondary hard drive. Here, we browse to an external hard drive and choose the NI Content folder, which we had previously created. Then we confirm our selection. If you are on Windows, you can define custom installation paths for your VST plugins. It is very important that you choose your VST folders carefully depending on the host sequencer you use. Please check our video about VST plugin administration on Windows computers if you are not sure which VST plugin location to select. You can find a link to this in the description of this video. If you are using Cubase or any other host sequencer which allows you to define custom plugin paths, make sure the path which is listed here is also set as a plugin VST folder in your host sequencer.